Oh man. Oh, my stage manager is a trip. He's making me laugh, man. Okay, so <clears throat> the other day, or the other second, the other day, the other day, the other segment, right? I'm saying like, I got these cartridges, man, from Dr. Nintendo, Dr. NES, man. I won, I won, I won a contest. But I won this one, I won this one. He put this one in for good measure. He's, cause he's a good guy. Now, Mega Man The Wily Wars, this is also a Mega Drive cart. So, uh, well, this one's not cause it's a repro. Repro, 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 repro. It's not gonna get taken from me. It's not repro, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> this game is for, was originally for the Mega Drive. Let me tell you a little bit about the Wily Wars for a second, okay? So, the Wily Wars come out in 1994 in Japan, okay? And US, the USA never gets a physical release, sadly. But, in the late and mid-90s, I know, in the late and mid-90s, it was released for the Sega channel. Does any, you remember the Sega channel, right? Of course you do. So, <clears throat> I tried to say channel the What's right way. Channel? It's not a channel, it's a channel. So, but unless you were rich, you did not pay and did not have the money for the subscription. So it's basically a remake of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 into 16-bit graphics and audio. And I'll tell you what, guys, this thing looks amazing. Sounds amazing, feels amazing. There were some changes. Mega Man 1 now plays Mega Man 3 music and has the Jap Jap Japanese uh, intro there. Uh, they actually redesigned the whole layout there. Um, kind of updated all that. That's updated too as well, just to kind of fit with everything. They got rid of that stupid password system. Praise the lords of it's awesome, man. And they <laughs> now they took my they took my glitches away though, man. Like the glitch where there was something there, like a little energy thing. You'd leave, you come back, and it'd still be there. That's gone. It's gone, making this game really hard. The whole pause button thing. That doesn't work anymore, but I think you needed a special weapon. I wasn't even uh, thinking when I was doing that, so. But all in all, man, this feels like Mega Man, and it just, it it plays beautiful. I do feel like my, uh, like the, my, my blaster was a little bit slower, you know? You know, you like that? Yeah? You like that? Uh, what, 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 okay, what, what happened? Let me, let me tell you a story about Mega Man. You ready, Spidey? Cody Spidey? I want to tell you a little story about Mega Man. All right, sit back, relax, have a cup of joe. So quit laughing at me. <laughs> no, like this, okay, all seriousness. So I went to the store and I, and I rented Mega Man as a kid. And I don't know if you guys rented games as well and you, you had to have them back by seven o'clock at night. And so I would rent games, I would, knowing I was gonna stay up all night. <clears throat> and I see this Mega Man, it's got the worst cover I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, this is gonna be a horrible game. I bring it back. I play it and I feel like I have discovered like the greatest game in the world. This is the camera I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is amazing. Like none of my friends are talking about it and I stay up all night playing it. It is so hard, Spidey. It is so hard, man. And I'm not gonna lie, I cried. I cried. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was a kid, I cried. I cried, it was so hard. But you know what? You know what? You laugh at me. No, it wasn't last year. Okay. I cried. I kept going. I kept going and I beat Mega Man 1. And I tell you what, thank you. Thank you. One applause there. And I really feel like not just Mega Man, but video games in general kind of shaped and molded me to like this, have this like, uh, I can do anything attitude. Just keep at it. Keep working. I don't know if you guys in the YouTube land, TV land, feel the same. But anyway, that's, I, I, let's get back to Mega Man. Let's talk about Mega Man 2 here. I'm sorry, I went off on a tangent there, so. Mega Man 2, again, looks awesome. Looks amazing, you like that, Spidey? Look at those graphics. Ooh, so sweet. Man, Mega Man 2 never looks so good. Never looks so good. Colors are vibrant. Uh, the graphics look great. Oh, it just, it's, it's prime stuff, man. It's prime stuff. And the bosses, yeah. It's all there, it's all there, man. And it feels right, it just feels good. I was so happy to have this game in my collection, finally. Same thing with Mega Man 3. Uh, it looks great, Everything's, everything looks better, but it feels exactly like a Mega Man. And I can't stress that enough because, because they've, done, they've done upgrades wrong, Spidey. They've done upgrades wrong before. Yep, 
A lot of people don't know this. If you beat Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3 all on the same save, you will open up the Wily Tower. Now you have three new stages, three new bosses, all unique, never before seen. And these things are tough too. These things are tough as well. You can also pick any weapon from every, any, every Mega Man game at this point. And you can put it in your like roster. And you can also uh, select what items you want to use. And, and use those items throughout this thing. Because once you finally do beat all three of those bosses, you get a Wily Tower. So it's like a whole another Mega Man game that's never been like released. And oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, graphics are good, the sound's good. Everything about this thing says, why didn't you release it in the United States on a physical copy? But you can get your repros. And here is an example of an upgrade done wrong. Mario All-Stars. If you don't know what Mario All-Stars is, it's one, two, and three, basically. Um, remade. Now, this game looks beautiful. It's good. It, it is good. But something gets lost in the translation here. And I don't know what it is. I've spent years trying to figure it out. It just, I think the best way I can say this, it's this camera over here, thank you, <laughs> is it, it lost its charm or something. Like, you, it, something got lost from going to 8-bit to 16-bit. I, I think it does play a little different. I, I'm not sure what it is, I can't figure it out. But that is not the case with this game. That is not the case. And this one goes for a pretty penny if you want the original as well. I think it's, uh, what do you know? Do you know what it is, like 200 some bucks? Yeah, the repro is like 40, 50, 60 bucks or something. But uh, again, you can go to Dr. Nintendo. He'll, he'll hook you up. I'll put a link to his website below. And uh, so, <clears throat> man, I mean, you guys know what I'm gonna rate this, right? Five hot dogs. No? Five. Out of, out of five. Thank you. Five out of five hot dogs for the Wily Wars. Guys, if you can pick up this repro cart, I, I would highly recommend it. If you're a diehard and you a glutton for punishment, pick up this one, because it's difficult. This one, this is, this is playable. You can, you can get through this. And it's good for the price. Totally worth it. So, guys, thank you so much for, for listening to my stories. Listen to me ramble on. You for heckling me the whole time, Bethany. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are watching this on TV, because this is a live show, go over to YouTube, give us a comment, let us know what you think. Yeah, there you go. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.